What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, so, actually a few videos back I had asked you guys whether I should clean the Silverado grill and just keep it chrome or I should just color match it to the gunmetal gray that we painted the Silverado. And you guys said it, so we're painting it black. Yes, that is right, black. Uh, I actually had it in my mind, but I didn't say it. But a lot of you guys actually said it in the comments that I should just paint it black. And it's actually a great idea. Uh, I'm doing the truck with, you know, just the way I like it. Just really simple, a color in black. Uh, me, personally, I'm not a huge fan of chrome. So that's why I paint the chrome stuff uh, on all my vehicles. But on this one, I think a black grill is just going to set it off. If anything, we'll just sand it again and just color match it. You know, no big deal. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get the grill and just uh, take it over to the shop and just clean it out with a, you know, with a brush and some soap. I've got a few brushes over there hanging. Beep, beep. So I'm going to get some soap, just clean it up, clean up the mesh. And I'm going to paint that and the bar as well. So it's right here um, through the back of the, through the back of the grill. It has like some, some of these little, um, I don't know what these are called. You know from the top of my mind but there's just little nuts right here but this is a plastic thing usually these little plastic pieces break or the nut breaks or something happens uh, but I've, I've got a way to put you know this part back in case this does break so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that apart take it over to the shop wash it and we'll come back uh, I'll just have everything ready we'll probably take this truck outside there's still the headlights that there's one little mod that I want to do and uh, of course the bulbs which we'll talk about more uh, so for now um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that and I'll see you guys in a bit here I have a 10 10 millimeter socket see how I broke this is plastic so you know, it's expected. No worries, I can put it back. All right, that wasn't bad. Uh, just one out of the six bolts or nuts broke. So not a big deal. Once I put it back, I'll still do that other little thing to secure this bar. But there it is. It's all taken apart. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, clean these parts. Plenty of space now. I took the truck out. I brought the parts back inside. Uh, these are now washed. They're dry. Uh, the uh, little chrome piece right here, I even scuffed it down just to give it a little bit of grit for the paint. Um, so, first, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a little coat of primer on this one. So, I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna use this automotive primer to give it a first coat. Outside. All right, well, the centerpiece dries outside. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this mesh part of the grill. And I'm gonna use this. This is the Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte Black.
gonna take this one outside so it can dry and bring back the centerpiece. So, what kind of black paint do you ask? All right, so I have right here a quart kit, the black crystal diamond. This is the base coat and the reducer for the base. And we're gonna use, this is the Grant 7 Oh My clear coat and activator. And the spray gun is this one. This is the Talco H3000. So this one is a 1.3, where is it? H3000B 1.3. This is a 1.3 tip. This is the gun that I use for base coats, clears, and candies. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. The Autobahn uh, Black Crystal Diamond and the Grant 7. Uh, oh my clear coat. All right, I got the paint inside the gun already. I have it adjusted to about 29, 30 PSI, and uh, we're ready to paint. I'm gonna give it uh, about three to four medium wet coats, and that should be good. This is still the base coat. I'm just finishing off whatever I have in the gun.
Check this out guys, this is the grill from a 2000 Silverado. This color right here, this is the Black Crystal Diamond from Auto Paint HQ. And the clear coat is the Grant 7 Oh My from BuyCustomPaints.com. I also went ahead and sanded down the tail lights and the third stop light and I gave them a coat of the clear. This is the Grand 7 uh, clear coat. This actually reduces, it doesn't reduce, it, it mixes two to one, two parts clear coat, one part activator and uh, no reducer required. It sprays really well uh, and it stretches, it lays really, really nice also. These are just uh, some old pieces but I give them a real quick sand. That's some dirt right there, or some pitted on the plastic, but I give them a real quick sand and just threw some clear coat. But, yep, yeah, back, to, back to new. Give them a second life right there. Need a cut. Damn, this color is beautiful. <laughs> All right, but this is the setup. It's the ultra matte mesh with the black crystal diamond bar. Some, you know, freshly clear coated tail lights. And that's gonna be it. I'm still working on the emblem, and the badge, but very beautiful color. Alright guys, here's the grill. Already painted, installed and everything. Um, look at that color right there. <laughs> really nice, really nice. That's the black crystal diamond. And the clear coat. Stretched out really nice too. That's the uh, Grand 7. Oh my clear coat. Right here, the mesh on the grill. This is the Rust-Oleum, the Ultra Matte. And of course, the front bumper. This is the Rust-Oleum uh, truck coat, the Pro Grade. And of course, the truck. This is the Gunmetal Gray Metallic from All Candies. So, yeah, anyways, getting back to the grill from today. This color is just beautiful. I mean, I can't get over it. Uh, next thing you know, anything that needs to be painted black, black crystal diamond is the one, to, you know, it's the way to go. Uh, but it's really, really nice. Um, the headlights and the parking lights still don't have any bulbs in them yet. On the parkings, I'm just gonna get it some, some halogen, the orange, the amber ones. And for the headlights, for now, I'm just going to um, install some regular bulbs. I did want to install some Basla. Uh, I have some installed on my, you know, on my Tahoe. And they've been really great to me, the Basla. They're color changing headlights. So I want to get something. Uh, it doesn't have to be the color changing, just the white ones on this one. Um, just low and the high beam. And that'll be perfect. But, yeah, this is the Silverado. We gave it a $500 makeover and you know, it's it's a totally different truck. Um, I'm still working on 
on the badge right here. I'm still working on the badge. Uh, I, I do want to throw just a little bit of uh, the gunmetal metallic, uh, at least on the trim, on the ring, and then the Chevy bow tie just painted black. But, yep, there's the truck. Leave some comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, that's it. Hope to see you on my next video. Peace out.